John Chua was a gift to us all. I am here to help you unwrap this gift and to inspire you to make a difference. Because that's what John did. He poured his heart into many passions and made a difference in the world through hard work, resilience, and a burning desire to make things better. John was an advertising photographer. His career spanned five decades. He was a pioneer who loved a good challenge. Advertising photography gave him enough challenges to satisfy his need to tinker with technique and fuel his creativity. In the 1970s, John fell in love twice. He fell in love with his wife, Harvey, and he fell in love with Banawe. Banawe was a photographer's paradise. Its isolation preserved its unique culture and heritage. He sent himself on assignments to document the Ifoga way of life, photographing everything from planting rituals to tribal war parties. Not content with being an observer, he organized the first two Imbayas, or ethnic games, which are now the biggest festival in Ifugao. Years later, John used Facebook to organize his friends and the advertising industry to launch the Badchang Weekend Warriors, a volunteer program to help rebuild the Banawe Rice Terraces. His initiative snowballed into a thousand volunteers over several years. The government eventually supported the program, and our rice terraces remain one of the wonders of the world today. John's heart found a home in Banawe, and the Ifugaos reciprocated his love. They adopted him and gave him the name Umanger, which means builder of the rice terraces. His experience with the Ifugaos led him to photojournalism. The rush he felt documenting a tribal war dance triggered him to look for more of the same. He covered the People Power Revolution, and one of his photographs was rendered into artwork and immortalized in the Philippine 500 peso bill. John was in the thick of things covering coup d'etat, political rallies, earthquakes and typhoons. These self-assignments were completely spontaneous, yet he always managed to make it back to the studio in time for the next advertising shoot. In 1998, after he learned to fly, he undertook a daring, first-time-ever cross-country flight in an airplane best described as a fabric kite with a lawnmower engine. He flew from General Santos to Lawag in an open-air cockpit with no doors, windows, or even floors. It took 12 days to cover 1,200 miles, jumping from island to island. He was also crazy enough to take on an elephant and win her trust. John's daughter was a zoo volunteer. To show support, he decided to take care of the biggest animal there, Mali the elephant. He patiently bribed the elephant with mangoes, popsicles, and showers. Soon, he was a frequent guest in her enclosure, enriching her life, giving her foot spas and playing coconut football. John soon channeled all his interests together to help more people. Children with disabilities flew on Navy airplanes and Air Force Hueys, learned aerial photography and ultralights, and went on photo expeditions to the zoo and to Ocean Park. Even visually impaired kids learned how to take photographs. Photography with a Difference connected various PWD groups, raised awareness for them, and inspired other organizations worldwide. John always said that it takes the same effort to dream big or dream small. So you might as well dream big. Libre namang mangarap. No budget, no limit. That's how he lived. Camera in his hand, and a smile on his face, always dreaming big, forever pushing the limits. John's life and passions made the world a better place. When he left us on the Feast of the Three Kings, we are reminded that John gave his heart, his photography, and himself as gifts to the world that he left behind.